in R bar T. Actually, he not give you the R specific, which is related for this one. This one related for M and R. Here, not data for R, but also here, not data for R bar. Ah, but the difference is what? R bar, it is one value. It should be memorized, like G. 9.8 or 32.2 per British unit. This is also R bar. It should be memorized also. It's one value for all gases. What is the value for this? Any one of this. But this now is not one value. No, no, no. It's one value, but he bring it here by different units. But all the represent for the same value or the same uh, variable, R bar. So this one is the famous one, 8.314. This is the famous one actually used. Okay. And you have another for something like this, for example, uh, for another unit, like liter, atmospheric, Kelvin, mole. Here, this is Joule, Kelvin, mole. Okay, let's check. What is the unit available with you? Liter, milliliter here. So for milliliter, this is one for milliliter. So it's good to use this one, it's better. But for SI, this is one is better. Okay, fine. So how to calculate it? B, this is the required. V, actually, is given direct. N, not given direct. So it's still unknown. R bar, I can bring it from here according to units I need it. So I take this one. So you have R bar. T, you have, but just change units. Okay. So we have N and P not given, but we have a mass. So we have equation here, relation between mass in N and in, uh, molar mass, which is here. N is equal mass divided by molar mass mass you have yes so molar mass i can calculate it from the gas how to calculate ch4 ch4 let's check molar mass is equal carbon is what carbon is 12 hydrogen 1 so 12 plus 1 multiply 4 those four atoms for hydrogen so 12 plus 1 is equal finally 16 this is what molar mass so I can substitute here for the pressure equal N R bar T over V. And we know now N is equal mass by molar mass. What's mass? 0.12 gram by molar mass 16. From this, so I can bring it the number of moles. R bar. As I tell you, from here we can bring it 0 0.08206 because we have liter. Temperature 35 plus 273. Volume 200 milliliter, it will be 0.2 liter. All available now? Yes. What is the unit of pressure you obtain? What is the R bar here unit? Liter atmospheric. Kelvin mode, so you obtain it by atmospheric. So you, the answer for B, it's by atmospheric. This is what you need? No. So once you obtain by atmospheric, change just units. We know one atmospheric equal 760 millimeter mercury. So check what is the answer you obtain here, atmospheric. You can bring it this one easily. Okay. This is here steps as we discuss. This is N. He divide by 16.04 because uh, he bring it from table. Here I write it 16 because I write it according to basic calculation. Temperature, it's at 273 as we mentioned. 200, change it to liter. Finally, we just uh, substitute for the equation. What is the answer here? 0.9. So change it from 0.9 from atmospheric unit to millimeter mercury which is here, this is atmospheric up, I put atmospheric down and the millimeter mercury up. So one atmospheric is equal 760 millimeter mercury and obtain the final answer for this point. Any question here? Suppression for the sensitivity of a pressure thermometer, like suppression, for the sensitivity of a pressure thermometer.
and give you the, the meaning of that. Excavation for the sensitivity of pressure so that change in pressure per unit change in temperature. So he give you the idea. Let's write the general equation BV equal in RT, R bar T. The meaning of pressure thermometer is a change in pressure per unit change in temperature. So I need P by T. P by T is equal to this is P, but I just need T to other side. So put the V in other side to be B over T in this side, other side to be N, R bar divided by volume. So where is this T? Is clear or need to repeat? Repeat. He needs an aesthetic expression for the pressure thermometer. Actually, we don't know what is meaning of that, but he gives you the definition, change in pressure to per unit change in temperature. This is why already I bring it here. But you bring it, this is the idea or the general equation. So I need it to be change in pressure, P, per unit change in temperature, like this. This is what is described for the pressure thermometer. So I need this shape. So how to bring this from this equation? This is P in this size, keep it as it is. Temperature down, so it means I put it in other side. In this case, we need to remove volume from this side and put it in other side. This is what is happening. Okay, fine now. Characteristic gas constant. This is what actually what we discussed at the beginning for R bar or R U and R specific gas constant or characteristic gas constant, which is uh, R. It depends for each gas. It depends for each gas. But for general one or universal one, this is one value for all gases apply. This is the value for the air which is a specific gas constant. This is very important value. We have for air some properties. It should be memorized. Very important. Like this one, R, like gamma, 1.4, like CB and CV. CB, it is a specific heat at constant pressure, and CV is specific heat at constant volume. Specific heat of air at constant pressure is equal to any idea? One T one C B is equal to one. This is here C B and C V. C B it is specific heat in constant pressure. CV, it's specific heat in constant volume. But this is, you can found it only in cases of gases because for the gases, we have a relation between the pressure and volume. One increase, other one is decrease and so on. What's the definition for specific heat at all? We discussed this definition last session. But we repeat it here. Specific heat is the amount of heat required to raise one unit of mass, one degree C. This is the value I tell you it should be memorized CB, CV, gamma, or K for air. Specific heat at constant pressure greater than at constant volume. Any idea? Here? Why is specific heat at constant pressure higher than at constant volume? 
Actually, at constant pressure, we have a part of the expansion or the uh, work happen. It's already involved. But for CV at constant volume, this is not a peer, which is less than CB. Two values specific heat of gas. Yes, we have two value for gas and one value only for water or solid. Why? Because for gas, we have a relation between the pressure and volume. But for liquid or uh, solid, there is no relation like that. The effect of pressure not affect to change the volume. Here's some values important. One of the important here, the water value. C for water. Only C, not CB, not CB. Only C, C for water. Actually, it's, it really, it is important. Behavior of gases can be fully determined by. Okay, by the way, four laws. Uh, boils. Charles, Gillesic, Avogadro's hypothesis. The ratio of two specific heat of air is equal to? D. D. What is low BV equal constant is applicable to gases under D. Any idea? BV equal constants applicable to gases under small ranges of pressure. Joule's law. Joule's law said what? Internal energy of ideal gas is function of absolute temperature only. That's it? Yes. It's internal energy of ideal gas is function for temperature only. Means U, which is internal energy, it is only function for what? Temperature. Let's see here. This is what? U, which is referred to internal energy. This U, it is a function or temperature. This is what is said, Joule's law. But we can add it for this in Thalby, referred to the total energy. In Thalby is equal to what? In Thalby is equal to the internal energy plus PV. This is a part of what? BV. BV, it means a part of the flow energy, which is here represents for the total energy internal and the flow energy. Clear? From this equation, we can conclude what here. Let's see. BV is equal to NRT. NRT. R is constant. RT. This is R. Constant almost. N. Can consider also number of moles is not a change. So BV have a part of constant, and this is what variable. So we can take it this two as a constant, and it means the variable only is temperature. So this part is a function for temperature, and by default U is function for Temperature. So what is your conclusion now?
So in salby is a function for temperature only. Why two term? One is already according to the Joule's law is function for temperature only. And the second part is function for temperature. So the, also the second part is part of, uh, is function for temperature only. So enthalpy as a term of enthalpy, which is related for the total energy is equal to or function for temperature only. This is the conclusion we discuss. Which law states that the internal energy of a gas is a function of temperature? The same volume of all gases would represent their molecular weight. Open system is one which see exactly according to which low or perfect gases have change in volume by one over two seven threes of their original volume. Zero to, to, to one degree, which is one degree C, change in temperature, when pressure remain constant. <laughs> Any idea? At the end of this paragraph, it's mentioned pressure remain constant. Which is always available for that? Charles. Gases have two values. Two values according to Avogadro's hypothesis. An idea yeah. first of molecular weight of all perfect gas occupies the same volume under same condition of pressure and condition work done in free expansion process is Zero statements that molecular weight of all gases occupies the same volume is known as no idea. Yeah. We got the hypothesis convert to volumetric analysis to volumetric, uh, volumetric analysis. The relative volume for each constituent of the flue gases is. This is a problem for changing from volumetric analysis to volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis and the volumetric analysis both is measured and they make analysis. Uh, for any system required. Okay. But here the main or core difference between these two. One, the base of the analysis is volume. But gravimetric analysis, mm -hmm. he measures this or make an analysis for concentration of the gases based on weight or mass, not based on volume. Okay, so one based on volume, one based on mass. So convert from this to this, what happened? Multiply by molecular weight. 
If a gas is heated against the pressure, keeping the volume constant, then work done will be equal to No idea? Zero. Zero. Isolated system is one in each. B. B. Yes, measure mass or energy. I can be close the boundary. Yes, exactly. Properties of substance like pressure, temperature, density. This is set. Path functions. Bus function, it is from any bus. It's from one to another. But this is this is like something for at certain position, certain condition. So this is point point function. Which of the following quantities is not the property of a system? Heat density. Heat. According to Avogadro's law. For a given pressure and temperature, each molecule of a gas If you buy same volume homogeneous heterogeneous system from name homogeneous is what is the system consists of single phase single phase even if it is mixing between some liquids together liquid with gas whatever the situation of the mixing but at the end it's going to be one uh, one solution for this one so for homogeneous, it is one phase. It's one what? One phase. But heterogeneous, no, this is more than two phases. More than two phases. Mixture of ice and water from a former. Okay. This is considered as heterogeneous system. Which of the following is the property of a system? Read carefully. Which of the following is the property of a system? All of them. No idea? All of the above. All of the above, exactly. On weight basis, weight basis, like gravimetric analysis, it contains the following parts of oxygen. 21%. 21. 23. 21 is accept, but for volume basis. Which of the following is not the intensive property? Heat. Laws of thermodynamics. Actually, here we present four char uh, uh, characters here. Four laws. Zero is law of thermodynamics, first law of thermodynamics, second law of thermodynamics, third law of thermodynamics. 
for the first one, zeros of thermodynamics, this is we're going to be studied before in the previous session. If two systems are in equilibrium with a third system, they are in equilibrium with each other. Like as I tell you, one is contact with three, two is contact with three. So this is in equilibrium, this is in equilibrium. But what about for one and two? Nothing, the connection between these two. So it is meaning here, this one, this one. This is already contact with, with, with the one and the contact with the two. This is the reason if this two, one and three, two and three is already in thermal equilibrium. So is the same happen if you go through for two, it will be equilibrium due to this situation. The other uh, laws here, first law of thermodynamics, second law of thermodynamics, third law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics, this is very important one. He said energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be only changed from form to another. This is important one, okay? So this is here, just characters like here, this is six stone, this is the same, the same number, but it's the different shape, okay? Entropy, entropy said what? Entropy said randomness or disorder. Refer, refer to what disorder or randomness. Refer to the actual process happening. What's mean? The regular process, if you are in state one, whatever this state, what is? You are going to state two. Okay? Normally, during this trap, we have here drop. Drop for what? For the energy. Energy is losing. This means energy losing. For this case, energy for two, it's not the same at one. This is due to what? This is due to entropy, due to randomness, due to disorder, uh, losses for friction losses, whatever the reason, it is going to be lost and not back to the original. So entropy here or randomness, randomness or disorder in a system can be stay the same or increase but not decrease. It means entropy as an entropy variable, it can be decreased. This is not happening. Keep it as it is, not change or increase. Third law of thermodynamics, this is case from the second law of thermodynamics. The temperature, it will be absolute, which is like zero absolute. Here represented by another figure, but more, uh, more uh, scientific, like previous. This is the equation requested from the first law of thermodynamics to be memorized. Should be memorized this equation, please. Very important. The change, kinetic change for the total energy is equal to the heat minus work. Again, the change of the internal energy or the change of the total energy, the change of the energy of the uh, system is equal to what? Q heat minus work here. Okay? Very important. I repeat it a lot. This is second law, which is related for entropy. Said here for this case, from one to two, it just makes sense. From one to two, it can be happen. But from two to three, it can't happen. Okay? Uh, if you apply by these two balloon, whatever the conditions, for first law of thermodynamics, for both cases, it will be not rejected. It will be accepted. can apply for the equation. Because the equation for first law of thermodynamics, not feel and not response for some situation like that, if you reverse the process. Okay? So here's the same for the second law. This is, it can be happened, it makes sense, but this is case, it can't be happened. It should be, give the balance the flow required or whatever. It's not increased without any trigger from outside, okay? And also we discuss about for third law. The important one is for numerical, this is for theoretical equations. And the equation for the entropy, S, this is the entropy, S, is equal to the heat divided by temperature. Heat divided by temperature. Uh -huh. this, this condition is very important. 
the change of entropy universe it is all the time more than zero what is that change of entropy for universe it's have two bar it is entropy for the system plus entropy for the surrounding entropy for the system and surrounding okay both together is equal to or uh, more or equal to zero if it's more than zero you are in safe side okay this process it can be happen this is possible process but if this less than zero it's impossible to have impossible to have for which of the following substances the internal energy and enthalpy are a function of thermodynamic uh, uh, of temperature only the idea? Perfect, yes. The expansion process. <laughs> Work done in the heat process zero. Sorting process. What's the sorting process? Sorting process, this is the flow moving inside porous plug. Porous plug like honeycomb. So the high pressure coming into this cylinder and after this moving here for this hole. What happened for the flow after moving here? The fluid here after you go out, this flow here, it's have a different for pressure. Pressure for the inlet, it is high pressure, but after this drop, it will be low pressure, low pressure. This process came back to the original from low pressure to back to the higher pressure, it makes sense. So it can't happen. Clear? <clears throat> this meaning this process is not reversible. Because he mentioned here some notes. For example, one of these notes, this process is not isentropic. What's isentropic? We'll discuss today the types of the process. One of this type is isentropic. One of this type is isentropic. What's meaning of isentropic? Isentropic, it means reversible plus adiabatic. Both together. Not, rever not isentropic, it means one of this is not applied, not reversible, not uh, adiabatic. Actually, it is not reversible. It's can't back to the original from state to state. This is the reason to be not isentropic process. Okay, so means of isentropic process. It means the change of entropy zero. This is the meaning of isentropic. So we study now the meaning of isentropic process. Also adiabatic. What's meaning of adiabatic? Adiabatic process. It means uh, no heat transfer, adiabatic process. It means what? No heat transfer. No heat transfer. That's fine. We have another processes, but we'll study in the presentation here later. So, by the way, for this one, it is one of the type or the application for uh, uh, non isentropic process for throttling process for what else we can say this what the pressure here is reduced to be low pressure from high pressure finally if you have any problem for this here it's like for example why the flow if you're coming from the first state one to two why you can't back to the original? We discuss this because the pressure at the beginning is high and due to porous plug or honeycomb, the pressure is dropped. 
so for make sense if you bag this flow it's not have anything to increase it again this is the reason to be irreversible process what is the application here for the throttling process like here for the valves adjustable valve porous plug capillary tube one of the capillary tube application it is used for expansion valve for the uh, evaporator uh, expansion is here for what mm, for evaporator yes If a gas vapor is allowed to expand through a very minute temperature, then such a process is known as. Sorry. Throttling. Let's see here. This is a page four process. The process is here for thermodynamic processes, which is coming for a lot of questions theoretical. We represent first the meaning of reversible and irreversible. As we discussed, reversible is can be back to the original state. Irreversible, it's can to be back to the original state due to increase of entropy. We study one of these processes already, adiabatic. This is adiabatic, which is meaning of no heat transfer, no heat transfer. So here, we can set the heat transfer here. Uh, Q, so no heat transfer, it means the Q is equal to zero. So we write it, if you apply for first law of thermodynamics, we'll find finally delta U is equal minus four. This is as per the equation of delta E equal Q minus four. This is what first law of thermodynamics. So if this Q is zero, so what happened? We'll found this is a change of internal energy is equal what to work. One of this process is isothermal, meaning confused between adiabatic and isothermal. Adiabatic, no heat transfer, but isothermal, constant temperature, constant temperature. This is different, constant temperature. So if you apply for first law, constant temperature. The first part here, delta U is equal to zero due to the temperature constant, internal energy zero direct. So here for this case, Q is equal to Q is equal to Isovolumetric or isochoric or isometric volume constant. And as we know, volume constant direct for work. Work is what? Zero. So delta E, the change of internal energy is equal here, heat. Finally, isobaric. What's isobaric? Pressure constant. Pressure constant. For pressure constant, constant P, and the change of uh, internal energy is equal to heat minus minus PdV, which is have equation and going to integrate and so on. Okay? This is for isobaric. This process here represents for isometric or isochoric, uh, related for volume, as you see. This is for adiabatic. This for isobaric, this for only isothermal. So isometric, adiabatic, isothermal, and the last before is isobaric. 